So we're going to be uh, doing problem number two. In our pro problem, it says the total length of the wind well is 500 feet, and then the, the, uh, the cable weighs like two pounds per feet, and then the bucket weighs 800 pounds per feet. So we have to uh, determine how much work is needed to uh, pull the bucket from zero to 25 in A, and from 250 to 500 in B, and also in C, from zero to 500. So let's get to it. Okay, in part two, what do we know? We know weight per feet of the cable is two pounds, weight of the bucket is eight, 800 pounds, height of the mine will equal 500 feet. And what, what I want is work done to lift the bucket in three different situations, A, B, and C. In part three, set up the general equation. So we're gonna take the integration of the force needed to pull up the pull the bucket up. So and a to b is our a and b are, is our limits, and then the dy is the change in the distance. That's how we will get the work. And then from here we break down the force into two times delta y plus 800 delta y because uh, if uh, because weight of the each foot of the cable is equal to two two pounds and and it the height is changing plus 800 is the weight of the bucket and it's not changing it's a constant so there's no variable from there we put the value of the delta y which is 500 minus y from there we just solve the whole thing and get the 1800 minus 2y and we're gonna take the integration of this force and then we'll get the work okay in part four solve the general equation so we're gonna be solving the general equation so we set up the general equation from part three. So we take the integration of 1800. So since it's a constant, so we get 1800 times y and the limit minus, we take the integration of two y constant times y squared by two and then the limits. From there we cancel out the two and then we get the y squared by itself. Go. Okay, in part five, plug in particular information. So this is our uh, general equation solved, and for A, our limit is going to be 0 to 250, 0 to 250, and then we're going to be applying fundamental theorem of calculus for both. So we get 1800 times 250 eight minus 1800 times 0 minus 250 squared minus 0 squared, and then we get 38. 7500 foot per, foot pounds and then for b our uh, um, limit is going to be 250 to 500 250 to 500 from there fundamental theorem of calculus fundamental theorem of calculus 500 square minus 250 squared and then we get 262500 foot pounds and for c we just add them up and then we get the 650000 foot pounds